Hey guys, so I want to start off by uh, apologizing for not posting videos for like a month. The reason is because I was giving into my anxieties. I started getting anxious about making videos again and I just gave in. So that's why I've been absent for like a month. So I'm sorry. So the other bad news is that I can't show you the walk. I went on because I can't find the cord for my camera so I have no way to get the information from my camera to my computer onto YouTube so I have to record all of this on my laptop so the picture quality is going to be kind of eh and the audio may not be the greatest you might actually hear a whirring or a whirr in the background that would be my laptop fan because I don't have a microphone I just have a built-in microphone so if there is a whirring just uh, try to ignore it so to try to make up for things, I'm going to be going through all of the people who have either voiced Batman or have played Batman, and I'm going to list them from my least favorite to my favorite. Okay, there's going to be some exclusions from this list because I haven't actually seen the animated videos that these two guys have done. Benjamin McKenzie and Bruce Greenwood, because I haven't seen Batman Under the Red, Under the Red Hood, which Bruce Greenwood voiced Batman, and I haven't seen the... Batman Year One animation, which Benjamin McKenzie was in. So, unfortunately, I can't give a good opinion on those two because I haven't seen them yet. If I do see them before I finish all of this, I will place them in somewhere, I guess. So, for the ones that I'm doing, all the live action movies, uh, the live action TV show, which had a live action movie, and all the, and the three cartoons. Coming in at number eight in my least favorite Batman, which will come as no surprise, is George Clooney. I think maybe he might have been able to make a decent Batman if Batman and Robin wasn't such a bad movie. Like, had the movie been better, he could have been a decent Batman and maybe placed higher up in the list. But because the movie is bad and you can't really break the association of him with the movie, he comes in last as my least favorite Batman. Okay, so that's it for me for now. And I will see you guys next week. I will be back. I'm going to get back into the swing of things. And again, I apologize for my prolonged absence. So, bye.